Hey there, I'm Niv Mizer, and I like to make games. Recently, I had the idea of making a pixel-based simulation game, similar to something like Powder Toy or Noita. I started by making a canvas to draw on, and a way to draw with a static starting material, wood in this case, that just stays in place, but later on it'll be used to make containers for other particle types. As you can see, I can draw with it and erase it. Next I added sand with a simple cellular automata behavior. Basically, all it does is every frame, it checks if the pixel underneath it is empty, and if it is, it moves down. If it's not empty, it checks one pixel down and one to the left, and tries to move there. And finally, if that pixel is occupied as well, it checks down and to the right, and tries to move there. After I finished the sand algorithm, I added gravel, which acts almost identically to sand, except it only checks the pixel beneath it, so instead of creating pyramid-shaped files, it creates tower-shaped ones. And you can already see the cool interactions that these two particles have together, especially when you start putting them in wooden containers. This is what's called emergent behavior. Basically just behavior that the programmer didn't explicitly code, it just emerges from the different rules that they made. Emergent behavior is one of the coolest things to watch in my opinion. It really almost feels like you as the programmer created something that's evolving before your eyes. If you're a developer, try making a system like this. You'll probably agree with me once you're done. The next particle I added is water, which acts like sand as well, except it checks to its immediate left and right in addition to the other rules, simulating the real property water has where it flows and tries to fill all the available space. As you can see, this particle also created a ton of emergent behavior when combined with the previous ones, like how it flows to the top of the sand here. Next I added my favorite particle, acid. It acts exactly like water, except it's very highly corrosive. So every frame, if it has a corrodible solid underneath it, like wood, it has a chance to eat right through it. It's my favorite pretty much just because of all the interesting shapes it makes in the wood, like you can see here. At this point, I decided to add some UI, just because it was very inconvenient to be manually switching the particle type through the Unity editor all the time. I came up with this, uh, a hideable palette with all the particles, a little bar at the top that shows the name of the particle you have selected for a few seconds, and of course, a big red X button that clears the board. Then, my friend Toast pointed out in my Discord server, link in the description by the way, that there was currently no way to contain the acid. So I googled what materials were resistant to corrosion, and I found that ceramic is one of them. So I added it, and here you can see it not being corroded by the acid. Anyway, then I added smoke, which is really just sand that goes up instead of down. And to get this cool dissipating effect, I just made each particle have a 1 in 3 chance every frame to actually update, making it go up slower and desynchronizing each particle from the others that I placed next to it. This one was a bit tricky because how for loops work in C Sharp, so if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on how to make this smoke simulation, and for that matter all the other particles, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll get on it. I also wanted to add a particle that changes its behavior depending on if some criteria is met, and I decided on powdered cement, which acts like sand at first, but after touching water, it has a chance to harden into the static and acid-resistant hardened cement. That hardened cement also has a chance to harden neighboring powdered cement particles, leading to this really cool spreading effect. This is also one of my favorite particles because of the interesting and almost fractal-like shapes that you can make with a lot of cement and very little water. Anyway, as you can see, every particle I add builds on top of the others, leading to this pretty intricate system of emergent behavior, which I think is cool. Well, those are all the particles that I had time for in this video. I'll link the current version of the game in the description, along with all the source code, so if you guys want to play it, it's there. Let me know in the comments if you want me to expand a bit more on this little side project or get back to working on my main game. I had a lot of fun working on it, and I really do encourage any game developers watching this to try something similar for themselves. Oh, and speaking of game developers, I just wanted to give a really big shout out to Mickey from Next Program. He's one of the main reasons that I started this YouTube channel in the first place, and he commented on the last video, which is just awesome. So go subscribe to his channel, he makes tons of great devlogs there, and if you like my channel, I'm sure you'll like his. Also, I'd love if you'd consider joining my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, both linked in the description, and hey, 
maybe even drop a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. I'm a small indie dev trying to grow his platform here on YouTube, so I'd really appreciate that. Cheers, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!